Yeah. Okay. So uh right. So we're going to today basically what we're going to do is um we're going to go over the questions that are going to um, Yeah, so we'll go over uh, just some basic, or sorry, just some questions that are going to be um, on the uh, on the unit test for um, next Saturday, and uh, and then after like after we're done these questions, I think we're good to uh, wrap up the class. Um, so, um, right, okay, so let's. Okay, for chapter two. So if you if you have if you have the textbook open, um, on page, um, it's all right here, uh, page one hundred and seventeen. So, oh, there. Uh, Okay, let's go over. Okay, so let's just start with. <clears throat> okay, okay, question number one. Um, um, I'll just check it out. Okay, so uh, let's say we have a trial is pulling a leg in of Okay, so uh, question one says, a child is pulling um, a wagon of mass, 7.38 kilograms, uh, up an inclined hill uh, at an angle of 14.3 uh, degrees to the horizontal. The child applies a force parallel to the hill. The acceleration of the wagon is 6.45 centimeters per second uh, squared. Um, so they're asking, what is the... Um, magnitude of force applied to the child and the normal force on the wagon. So <clears throat> in this case, uh, I think it's always best just to start with, uh, you know, a free body diagram. So um, <clears throat> okay, so let's see what's happening. So um, okay. So we basically have this um, this inclined plane. Uh, they said the angle to the horizontal is 14.3 um, degrees. You know that that piece of information is right there. Um, and then the wagon is going to be something like this. Okay, and then they said it was being pulled off by the um, child, so we'll just label this as 
Okay. Now, so I guess the free body diagram for the box itself is going to be um, in uh, vector notation. So we'll look at here as being the, <clears throat> the normal force. And you have dotted line here. Um, and then um, and then you have the force vector right here. <clears throat> and then uh, magnet uh, sorry, MG uh, is always um, perpendicular to the normal force. So you have mg here. And then the acceleration vector is this, this guy right here. OK, so we got to do some. So we know <clears throat> with um, Newton's laws, we can uh, balance these forces. So we'll have normal force is equal to <clears throat> mg cosine of theta. Um, and th in this case, that the, the theta is going to be 14.3 degrees. So we'll have this one right here. Um, mm, yeah, so um, let's start plugging in some numbers. Oh, wait, one second. And then we'll also have MA is equal to, so this is equation number one. This is equation number two. Okay, so MA is equal to F minus MG sine theta. Okay, so in part one, they're asking the force applied by the child. So this is going to be from uh, equation number two. So we look at, okay, we have F is equal to MA plus mg uh, sine of theta. <clears throat> okay, and then we're going to be, okay, so we're going to do some isolation. So we're going to basically, like, because there's a factor, we can factor out a m from both these. So uh, we're going to be going M open bracket A plus B sine theta. Okay, and then now we can just start plugging in these values, so we'll get 7.38. And the acceleration of the wagon we already uh, was given in the question to be 6.45. So we'll plug that one in, six point four five times ten to the negative two and then uh one sec. Oh, okay. 
Um, was, uh, okay. Um, so we go plus nine point eight. Times sine of fourteen point three, and then yeah, uh, oh, sorry, and then. <clears throat> okay. Um so we should get an answer of eighteen point four, I believe. Eighteen point three four right newtons. Okay. Part B asks for what is the normal force? Well, um, we basically, from part one, we can just uh, plug that the same um, uh, same method, just use cosine. So we'll have um, n is equal to A seven well n, n is equal to mg cos theta, but we're just gonna skip that and I'll just put seven point three eight times uh ten to or times nine point eight times cosine of four point fourteen point three. <clears throat> And we get a final answer of 70. Point oh eight. Yeah. So uh questions like this will be on the test next Tuesday for short answer. Okay, let's go to the next question. Actually, you know, I'll give you like I'll give you guys like five minutes to just look at actually. I'll post the slides after. I'll post the slides after. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Good question. Okay. So, question number two. Okay, so this we have mu s being coefficients of okay, so we have a rope exerts a force of magnitude twenty one newtons at an angle of thirty one degrees above the horizontal on a box at rest on the horizontal floor. The coefficients of friction between the box and the floor are mu s. To be five point or sorry zero point five five and then mu k v zero point fifty. Okay, the box remains at rest. Determine the smallest possible mass of the box. Okay, so.
Okay. So let's, um, again, you want to, with these questions, you want to basically um, draw a free body diagram and make sure you have like all the, all the right steps um, in place. Um, so <clears throat> the box, I guess so it's, it's going to look pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, we basically have, uh, we basically have one flat ground. Then there's a box here, right? Label it M. And then to the horizontal, we have this thing right here. Um, <clears throat> uh, data, and then okay. Um, <clears throat> so Basically, what we know so far is that the box um, is at rest. So the net force is applying on the box is um, would be zero in both directions. So uh, if you want to simplify the forces in both directions, we're going to have to break this question down into the horizontal component, or HC, and then the vertical component, or VC. Okay. So when we have these two uh, set up, then we basically just start going uh, and start plugging in the values. So horizontal um, will usually have tension in the, in the rope times it by the cosine of theta because it's uh, adjacent. Um, so cosine theta. And then minus f is equal to zero. F equal to zero. Okay, that's equation number one. So in the vertical direction, however, it's going to be the same. But in this case, you're going to use t sine of theta. And then you're also going to have to include the um mass and gravity so your mg it's going to be uh obviously in the downward direction so um and then plus n is equal to zero okay um uh vertical Okay, so once we have those two equations down, then we know that uh, the force F is static friction force. So if the body is at rest, that means um, mu sub K or force is uh, less than or equal to um, that upside down mu and then time by N. Okay. Okay, so now because we have equation one and equation two, what we're going to do is we're going to basically combine them. Um, but in this case, we you'll see that they're going to cancel out a lot of the terms. So we have equation number one and then equation number two. Um, so equation number one is... Great, so we'll have um, force time, or oh, one sec, I think. Yeah. 
So we're going to have, in this case, force is equal to uh, T cosine of theta. And then equation number two. is going to be mg minus, uh, yeah, oh, wait, normal force equals mg Okay, so now um, we can put all these um, equations together into um, this third equation and then figure out, okay, which one is the smallest possible mass of the box. <clears throat> so we'll have uh, final So our final answer is going to look something like this. Where's your Oh, no. I think I put the new page. Okay. I'll just continue this one. So putting these uh, three equations together, what we get is T, T times cosine of theta equal to greater than or less than or equal to um, mu mg. Mg um, minus uh, t sine theta. Okay, and then the second equation is going to be so. Uh, then we're just going to rearrange for mu. So we go t cosine of theta. Um, plus mu e sine. Okay. E sine theta e less than or equal to mu. Times it by and Okay. Um Okay, great. Then we're going to rearrange this some more. So we'll have cosine and sine on one side, and then all the numbers and variables on the other side. So we'll have cos theta Sine theta times it by t times it 
5G. <clears throat> and then once you do that, you should get um, when you insert the values. So you get cosine 31 plus 0 0.5. Times it by sine thirty one times it by twenty one divided by zero point five five times nine twenty eight. And then round four, approximately 4.4 4 kilograms is the answer. So, so yeah. Um, one thing though, I think I was checking the, what is it called? I was checking the Google Classroom and I don't think a lot of people submitted the lecture notes yesterday. So what I'm gonna do is, cause I, I need that by the end of like, by the end of this weekend, um, just for a submission. Um, what I'll do is I'll give, um, yeah, I'll give, um, what is it, we'll call it, hold on. Okay, so. Okay, yeah, so not a lot of people submitted it. Um, I'm going to give you guys today's class to basically, so what, what I'll do is for the, for the questions on your test, it's going to be exactly the way I did these two questions on the board. So taken right from the textbook, exact, quite exact, like I'm not even changing the numbers at all. Um, I will give you guys the, so those two are already gone. That means you have three three more short answer questions to cover. Um, and I'll just include that right here. So short answer question three. Question seven and question And question 16. Yeah. That's your short answer. Then multiple choice questions. Um, uh, multiple choice questions. Okay, yeah. So there is one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, so questions 12 through 21. Um, and I know there's only 10, 10 of those. Uh, I probably will switch up the um, test just to reflect uh, these twenty, these ten questions. So page one fifteen. Okay. So there you guys have it here. Um, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna switch back. Oh, wait, let me just save this as a okay. Um, okay. So let me just um, post this in the Google Classroom. So um, okay, 
Um, One second, it's just loading. Um, okay. Uh, file. Copy. Um, okay. Sweet. Okay. So posted that. You guys are welcome to check it out. Now, for this lecture notes that haven't been. Uh, you guys haven't submitted yet or whatnot. Um, there's going to be a same one hour YouTube video. Um, you guys are required to watch it and then make down, take down whatever notes you, you, you want. Um, but I just, 